আসসালামু আলাইকুম শুভ সন্ধ্যা এটিএন বাংলা ইকার এখানকার আয়োজন এডুকেশন আওয়ার আপনাদেরকে স্বাগত আমি সিরাজুল বাসি চৌধুরী আপনাদেরকে শুভেচ্ছা জানাচ্ছি আমরা চলে আসলাম এক সপ্তাহ পর আবার নতুন টপিক নিয়ে কথা বলার জন্য আমাদের আজকের টপিক ইন্টারফেইথ উইক আমি আবার রিপিট করতেছি ইন্টারফেইথ উইক ইজ এ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট টপিক অ্যান্ড দিস পার্টিকুলার উইক থ্রু আউট দ্য কান্ট্রি হোল কান্ট্রি UK students in school in the community people are learning about different faith and also they're learning about other things such as those people don't believe in religion humanism atheism and so many other beliefs as well now amader sathe ajke otithi asen unar kotha bolben je interfaith weeker je importance niye kotha bolben ebong bishesh kore amader bachchara এই কমিউনিটিতে থাকা অবস্থায় বিভিন্ন ধরনের রিলিজনের জানবে রিলিজন সম্বন্ধে পড়বে কেননা তারা পাশাপাশি বিভিন্ন রিলিজনের লোকের সাথে বাস করতেছে সো দে নিড টু নো অ্যাবাউট আদার রিলিজনস অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম দে নিড টু লার্ন অ্যাবাউট পিপুল দে ডু নট হ্যাভ এনি রিলিজনস এজ ওয়েল সো আমাদের আজকের টপিক অনেক ইম্পর্টেন্ট উই নিড টু এডুকেট আওয়ার চিলড্রেন we live in a community we want to see a good community cohesion within the community we want to live in <coughs> peace in harmony so this particular topic is very important for parents for children for students for the community and for all so apnader kono montobo kono prashno kore korte pare kono dhoroner prashno bangla korte pare english e korte paren amader guest to answer korben so ashun tahole porichito hoy amar tin jon otithir sathe on my left It's a great privilege and honor to introduce Leon Silva, who was here before, two years ago, to talk about Interfaith Week. He is the president of East London Central Synagogue. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Leon? I'm fine, sir. Well, thank you. Nice to see you again. And also, after a whole day, your hard work, you are sitting with me now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a great privilege and honor to have you on the show. Welcome to Education Hour. Thank you very much. It's a privilege and an honor for me to be here. Thank you very much. On my far left, another very known face for me particularly and also my great honor to introduce the person, Ram Chandra Shah, Director, Bibekarando Human Center. Dada, Thank, you. Thank, you. <coughs> Thank you, invite, uh, because you inviting me to the morning and afternoon, so that means most of the time I'm today with you. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm very happy today morning, so you know, when I'm talking to nearly 275 students 75 mm -hmm. students Excellent. and i <clears throat> i was very very happy so that been to see hope how from class 2 to class 6 all those children and they know even our faith and different you know asking the question many questions and more than two hours are giving the answer absolutely and two and a half hours two and a half hours definitely yeah, maybe more than that it's but it's a, it's a great to have you in the morning in the afternoon and now you're sitting with me on education hour and thank you for <laughs> welcome to the program and i hope i know you speak in english and also uh, you can speak <coughs> in bengali as well I hope you don't mind if uh, you know ask something in Bengali hopefully and because our viewers yes, some of the viewers yes. obviously they understand Bengali better than English but most of them do do understand English and yeah I'll speak Bengali as uh, well as you English. know I, I saw Leon said to me as long as I'm not talking about negative or bad thing about him probably by now Leon has learned Some Bengali, Bengali. <laughs> because Leon has been working in this community for over 40 years. Yes, many, 40 years. Many, many, yes. So he met people from different religions. So definitely, at least by now, he knows few words. A few words. <laughs> <laughs> And on my right, another guest, very special guest. And I met this guest before, once at least in a grand program. And I have, I have the real pleasure to introduce this person, Shurin uh, Tahir Zadeh is from Baha'i community, a member of Baha'i community. Good evening. Good evening. How Thank are you today? Very well. It's such a pleasure to be here this evening. Thank you for the invitation to no, be this here. Is, this is great to have you and Thank particularly you. as I mentioned earlier, after a whole day, all the hard work, you are sitting with me at 8 o'clock. It's an honor. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Forgive me, I don't speak Bengali no, no, yet. No, 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 please. English, <laughs> is the, English is the language of this country. Wonderful. People should communicate in English and we will, definitely. 
So today's week is very important week for us, all of us, Interfaith Week. I would like to highlight first, uh, I know you mentioned about schools and places they are learning about uh, interfaith. I mean, when you say interfaith week or interfaith, Leon, I mean, a lot of our parents probably, they probably haven't heard the word or probably they have heard the word. But what do you mean by this when it's interfaith? It means really learning to understand other people's beliefs and to have respect for them. It doesn't mean that we're setting out any of us to try and convert other people away from their own faiths. Mm -hmm. The idea is that you understand people when you have a knowledge of their beliefs, of their customs, um, of uh, the things that they are taught, and actually all of this is enriching. And it enables people to get to understand each other. And above all else, you, know, you mentioned earlier about people of no belief, um, uh, humanists, atheists, and so on. The overriding thing is even more than getting to understand people's beliefs, what it is when you meet and you get to know and to understand people of the whole range of spiritual beliefs or lack of spiritual beliefs, the one overwhelming thing we all learn is that underneath everything else we are all just people. Mm -hmm. And that is such an important lesson I think that we all need to learn. Mm. Very good. You mentioned about you know, such a good way about interfaith. I mean, when you talk about interfaith, obviously every religion, are, well, most of the re religions are coming there as well as you mentioned mm -hmm. what I highlighted earlier, atheism uh, and humanism and you know, agnosticism, is it? Yes. How do you say it? I don't know. Agnosticism. Yeah, right. that's it. That, yes. That's it. Thank you very much. Uh, Shireen Tahir Zadeh. If I call you Shireen, is that okay? Please, yes. Yes, if <laughs> I come to you. I mean, I have heard about your religion, Baha'i. I mean, I wonder, any idea, just I'm asking a question, throwing yes. a question, how many millions of people are Baha'i within this world? Is there any, any, any data? So the Baha'i faith is the um, youngest of the world's religions. Right. It's only 170, 180 years old, but it is the second most widespread faith right. in the world. So wherever you go in the world, you'll meet Baha'is in cities, towns, excellent, villages. Excellent. And to be honest, in terms of numbers, there isn't, um, I wouldn't know off the top of my head, perhaps over seven, six or seven million Baha'is well, around the world. Number, yeah. But <laughs> at the heart of the Baha'i teachings is this principle of the oneness of humanity. Right. And this idea, which is why I think Interfaith Week is such a wonderful week, is this idea that we are all created from the same God, from the same creator and that we need to work together yes. and we need to learn to work together to overcome our differences. And so you'll see the Baha'i community around the world is very much working with friends of faiths, different faiths or no faith, yes. together in our community. So it's difficult to put a, an exact number no, um, no, don't worry Baha'is. about it, because just, to, <laughs> just, to, just to know about, because what happened when a, a colleague of mine asked me this question, uh, I, I was finding very hard to answer this morning, uh, when we had in school yes. from, you know, members from Baha'i community, they came along, they talked about, and it's, it's, it was a fantastic program, <coughs> talked about, you know, uh, Baha'i community and mm. how, you know, uh, that some history and some facts Right. about the leader as well. So that's, that's a great sort of you know, input for the students, particularly because in this country we are learning uh, uh, about religion. This is one of the RE sort of curriculum. Mm -hmm. And as um, Ramda, you are one of the sacred members in Tower Hamlet. Yes. So obviously <laughs> you, you are sitting in the, obviously you uh, are one Leo, of the Leo very senior, yeah, senior members. <laughs> yeah, uh, and you talk about, you do the syllabus for the students in Tower Hamlets and okay. other boroughs, other sacred, you know, organization, they do that. And also schools, mm. is, is by law, schools are required to follow that. Yeah. So our students, they need to learn when they do RE about different religions and also about humanism in year six, they start to, to learn mm. about. So that's mm. why it's good to know, you know, children are learning about other religions such as Baha'i. And it's, it's wonderful. I think, you know, we are, privileged, we live in a country where there is so much diversity. Yes. Um, and, you know, if we look at our neighborhoods, we see people of so many different cultures of faiths or yes. no faith. But it's very easy that we can always just live in our own little bubble mm. yes. and never actually meet our neighbor and learn from our neighbor and right. serve together with our neighbor. So I think the fact that 
interfaith weeks is really given this importance is wonderful because then it can start in schools where children can learn not the differences but the similarities that they yes, have with one yes, another yes. Um, and that they see actually we have more in common with each other than we, we think we don't. Absolutely, um, absolutely. So it's a wonderful, <coughs> yes. wonderful week to be part excellent, of. Excellent, excellent. We'll talk more. Ram Chandra Shaha, you are the director of Vivekananda Human Center and I know you have been uh, doing uh, you know, different interface sessions in Tower Hamlet's other boroughs for maybe many years. Mm -hmm. Okay, in your religion, Hinduism, obviously Hinduism is one of the main religions uh, out of six, if you think about, in the world, and also uh, we have syllabus about Hinduism. Now, if I ask you this question, I mean, obviously, this morning, some students also came to me and they went to you as well. They said, well, Hinduism, what do you believe in? Do you believe in one God or many God? So can you, can you just tell about a bit about yeah. the religion of Hinduism? Yes, yeah, so, you know, we believe definitely is uh, one God. One God. So yeah. that is no question mark. But uh, many people is misguided yes. uh, with, uh, I think it's ignorance, it's <laughs> lack of knowledge. Right. And so the people think so Hindu believe in different God. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. So Hindu believe in one God. So if I mention from Rig Ved, so the Pinar main uh, religious scripture, so you know, saying Ekam Shat Bibram Bahuda Badanti. So what does mean? True is one, but wise men call it by different name. Right. So that mm. means it's truth is one, God is one, but we, so that means worship different in a form mm. so that mean also hindu believe you know so many children uh, i was very happy uh, <coughs> today meet you know 275 children more than two hours i talking to them <laughs> and i was i know you said a couple of times i'm tired and no, no, i was enjoy because i have seen so that been in tar hamlet so in uh, most of uh, uh, muslim children and also, so that been only I have seen a couple of two or three Hindu children and other children um, uh, from religion. And a couple of children al also we are talking about, you know, they don't believe. I ask, what are you? So a couple of children, uh, uh, they said they don't have any religion. It means whatever we are talking about now. Uh, hum humanism. humanism, humanism, humanitarian, or, or atheism, so, whatever you know. So now atheism means you know because you, you don't see, believe because, in God because yeah. because uh, as I'm practice Vivekananda's message teaching Ramakrishna Vivekananda's. So Vivekananda is beautiful message is you know uh, even you don't believe God it doesn't matter. So if you believe yourself, do you believe yourself? This is the main. And messages. So now we can see Vivekananda's message is working in our society, yes. and people understand young generation yes. and children, even from uh, class four, five, and most of the children, you know, asking me so many questions. So that when, like, we are talking about the compare, so that when, you know, so mm -hmm. the nine, more than ninety percent, I'm telling, so hundred percent children. They know about Ram, Shita, Lakshman, and uh, Ram went to in the forest for the 14 years. And what is our religion, Diwali, and why you celebrated Diwali? I was very surprised to know. So it's very good way. So they explain, and right. they explain. So when they are talking about some, you know, Muslim so, uh, religion, they are talking about like Shaitan. Yes, and they compare with this shaitan with Ravon, you know, they're telling, you know, uh, Ravon, uh, he has 10 head and Ram killed uh, Ravon and then came back to Ajodha and then we celebrated Diwali. And very nice way that children, so that means they have knowledge and compare. So that Absolutely. means, so what uh, are we if talking I, if about? If I just stop you, you know? briefly, we have to go to a short break. After the short break, we'll continue with our discussion about interfaith. Priya Darshakamra Katha will come on the topic interfaith week. আমাদের ছোট্ট বিরতিতে যেভাবে বিরতি পর আবার দেখা হচ্ছে আমাদের সাথেই থাকবেন পর আবার এডুকেশন ওয়ারে আমরা কথা বলছি আজকের টপিক ইন্টারফেথ উইক এই সপ্তাহে পুরো সপ্তাহে কিন্তু এই দেশে বিভিন্ন স্কুলে এবং কমিউনিটিতে ইন্টারফেথ উইক পালন করা হচ্ছে এর কারণটা হলো 
আমাদের বিভিন্ন রিলিজিয়ান সম্বন্ধে জানা এবং এই কমিউনিটিতে কিন্তু রিলিজিয়ান ছাড়াও লোকজন বাস করে যেমন হিউম্যানিজম বলি এথিজম বলি এবং অনেকে হয়তো অন্য কিছুতে বিলিভ করে এই যে আমরা আমাদের নিজস্ব রিলিজিয়ান ধর্ম জানার পাশাপাশি অন্য রিলিজিয়ান সম্বন্ধে জানব কারণটা হলো এর আগে আমাদের একজন এখানে গেস্ট লিয়ন সিলভা বলেছেন এখানে কোনো কনভার্ট করা না এখানে জিনিসটা হচ্ছে একে অপরকে জানা এর কারণটা হচ্ছে ইফ ইউ নো ইচ আদার ব্যাটার দেন উই ক্যান লিভ পিসফুলি ইন এ সোসাইটি লিভ ইন হারমোনি আমি আগেই মেনশন করেছি আপনাদের কোনো প্রশ্ন ইংলিশ বা বেঙ্গলিতে আপনারা করতে পারেন প্যারেন্টস যারা আছেন আপনারা জিজ্ঞেস করতে পারেন বিশেষ করে আজকে অনেকের অনেক স্কুলের সেশন ছিল আমাদের স্কুল সেখানেও একটা সেশন ছিল সো উই টক টু বাউট ইন্টারফেথ উইক ম্যানি গেস্ট কেম এলং অ্যান্ড দ্য টক টু বাউট দ্য ম্যানি আসপেক্টস অফ ইন্টারফেথ উইক অ্যান্ড ইম্পর্টেন্স অ্যান্ড পারপাস অফ ইন্টারফেথ উইক এই যে বিষয়গুলো আপনারা প্রশ্ন করবেন আমাদের এই প্রোগ্রাম উই আর ব্রডকাস্টিং অন স্কাই চ্যানেল সেভেন সেভেন নাইন অ্যান্ড এট দ্য সেম টাইম ইউর অন ফেসবুক এট ইউ এন বাংলা ইউকে ডট টিভি অ্যান্ড অলসো ইফ ইউ গো টু আর ওয়েবসাইট ডাব্লিউ 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 ডট এট ইউ এন বাংলা ইউকে ডট টিভি অ্যান্ড অলসো ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু ইফ উড লাইক টু আস্ক ইন ইউ কোয়েশ্চেন প্লিজ মেক এ ফোন কল অন মাই রাইট শুরিন তাহেরা তাহের জারে ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক হু ইজ এ মেম্বার অফ বাহাই কমিউনিটি ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক লিয়ন সিলভা অন মাই লেফট হি ইজ দ্য প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ ইসলাম সেন্ট্রাল সেনাগগ অ্যান্ড অন মাই ফার লেফট রামচন্দ্র সাহা ডাইরেক্টর বিবেকানন্দ human center so we're talking about interfaith week uh we started very well and we discussed about it but one thing we need to really talk about like, our aims and particularly purpose mm. so if you think about the purpose Leon, what is the purpose of having dialogues of interfaith the purpose and importance maybe it, well it, it is i think very important i mean in town hamlets for example we have many diverse communities you know there's a whole history of immigration into tower hamlets over hundreds of years yes. every community has left their mark and most communities even when they've moved away there's still a presence mm-hmm. for example my own community it's very small now in tower hamlets um it's vestigial really but we're still there and also we are part of the history of of the borough mm-hmm. and part of its culture as are other groups and now um the many um, bangladeshi muslim people in the area and again you know they've shaped um the atmosphere of the area there's you know um brick lane and all the wonderful world famous restaurants now and so on our culture is influenced by um the bengali community also it is so easy for people to live as you mentioned earlier in their own separate bubble and when that happens not only are they missing out on what really is a wonderful thing to appreciate the whole diversity and it's amazing but as well as missing out by not knowing how other people live what they believe what their culture is it's also a dangerous thing Yes. because they see the person as outside as as the other as somebody or something that is threatening yes. and the whole point of interfaith is not only knowing to appreciate and respect and as you mentioned um Shirin seeing the similarity yes of, of, of people's faith and you know many things in common so many most, things most so things many and in life. fact w- where Judaism is concerned you know we have two daughter religions Christianity and Islam and despite the politics Islam is actually by far the closest religion there is to Judaism and um, right. we are even allowed with permission of course to say our prayers in a mosque because we recognize it as a house of god and and i've been told by muslim people that the reverse is also true that a muslim may pray inside a synagogue because we recognize we pray in our you know, varied ways and from our different approaches but we are undoubtedly praying to and believe in the same god right this is this is great so many similarities than differences i would say isn't it oh, as a human more, being as a religious person or even if someone is non religious person we have more similarities than differences isn't of it of course of course that's great we'll talk more shreen mm-hmm. would like to hear more about i know i ask you this question because for our benefits 
to yeah. know because in our curriculum two things actually we teach children students in school one is national curriculum obviously they they give the guidance at the same time secret the body of faith group they devise the syllabus for each bara but one thing he says there learning from religion and learning about religions mm. so learning from religions mm -hmm. and learning about religions there is as you mentioned as lian mentioned and it's not converting to yes. one to another religion it's about knowing each other mm -hmm. so we like to know more about bahai will be really appreciated because a lot of our students will be good to hear you know i mean uh, anything important facts would you like to highlight please sure so um as i mentioned earlier the bahai faith is an independent world faith um that was founded in iran 170 180 years ago the founder of the bahai faith his name was bahaullah which means the glory of god right and really essentially his his teaching his main teaching or at the heart of his teaching was the oneness of humanity right he his message was that we have all been created from the same god i think we have heard this theme as well a lot that mm -hmm. there is one god we may call god or um different names we may call him allah <coughs> or um we may refer to god as an unknowable essence um but we have all been created from this same god and that over um the period of history from the beginning of time um out of love for humanity god has sent to us these divine educators right. um who have come and have guided us with spiritual truths to help humanity to progress as a collective so starting from abraham to moses to krishna to zoroaster the buddha prophet muhammad the bab and bahaula and and that god will continue to send us these divine educators because humanity is constantly progressing right. um and the main at, as i mentioned at the heart of bahaullah's teachings is that the time has come for humanity to unite as one family right you know we're living at a time where in our pockets on our phones we are able to communicate with people all over the world so really the 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 earth has become one global village right and with this comes wonderful opportunities of of learning about our our um our diversity but it also comes right. with its challenges right. and this is where then the the spiritual teachings can guide us and i think come linking it back to interfaith week what is so important is that if we want to achieve universal peace which i think is one of the main themes in all the world's faiths It is impossible if as you were saying earlier Leon there is this concept or this belief that there is us and them or us and the other it's impossible for us to have universal peace yes. and so really it's that about positive dialogues yes isn't it it's about it's about so the bahai teachings focus very much starting at the neighborhood level that in our own neighborhoods we are able to come together and to pray together that we may have different ways of praying but we have a common vision a common goal which is to have universal peace Th that this happens in our neighborhoods in our <coughs> communities in our schools and naturally on on many different levels great we'll talk more on that but can i take a call yes assalamu alaikum darshak porishit ke mantabe kono prashno কথা আসসালামু আলাইকুম সফিকুল মোহাম্মদ রাম বললি দেখে ভাই ভালো আছেন জি জি হোকা হোকা জি আমি কইতাম সাই এই দেশে আমরা হিন্দু মুসলিম খ্রিস্টান ইহুদি জিউ শিখ আমরা সকলে বসবাস করা মাল্টিকালচারে কান্ট্রি লইটা আমি একটা एग्जांपल কইতাম সাই তোর লোক আদা আদার মধ্যে যদি আমরা বাঙালি মেয়ে বা পাকিস্তানি মেয়ে মুসলমান খাস করে তে তারা তো হালাল পয়সা কামাই নেনি এর ভিতরে যদি পচি চুজি করে পেশা গিরি করে আর পয়সা রুজি করে দিতে আলাদাই বলি আচ্ছা আজকে টপিক তো ইন্টারফেথ উইক না নেই আপনি যেটা কইরা আপনি একটা সুন্দর কথা ফয়লা বিগিন করছো থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ আপনি যে কথা কইরা এটা তো ব্যাপার হইছে হোল রিলিজিয়ন কথা কইছে মাল্টিকালচারাল কান্ট্রি বুঝছেন না এই ব্যাপারটা হোল না এটা তো পজিটিভ এলাউড আছে ভাই পজিটিভ এলাউড আছে তার লাইসেন্স আছে কিন্তু আমরা আমি আল্লাহর মাহফুজ ওকে থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ আই নো আই মিন অবভিয়াসলি দিস পারসন হি জাস্ট টকড अबाउट ফার্স্ট being uh, in a very positive note he talked about gentlemen about in this country is a multicultural society so we live 
with different religions, but he had another point about making whether is something someone is uh, you know as, uh, earning money in Azda whether it's halal or haram that sort of like but that obviously is a religious sort of mm -hmm. debate. We are not going to you know that kind of debate. Yeah. But <coughs> but thank you. Your first part definitely is great multicultural. <laughs> you gave emphasis on that. Thank you very much for that. So ami jodi Ramdadami apnar kache jodi ashi ekhon ami to Banglai bolbo ekto. Okay. If you don't mind, no, is that okay? Fine. Yes, please, but please, we will trust like that. Of course, of course. Our second question is, our interfaith, Leon Jetta Bollo, the quantity of work that is done, especially when it is a child born, what is it? Is it a community that is born? That is school, but there are many different kinds of children. There are many kinds of children. Is it our parents that are aware of the interfaith weekend? The group that is quantity of people, what do you think about it? जेटा हिंदू धर्म में जेटा बोला होता है जेए वन फैमिली यू नो इन हिंदू धर्म में वी बिलीव इन बाशुदेव और कुटुंबकम द द द वर्ल्ड इज वन फैमिली वी बिलीव इन वन फैमिली एंड एंड आल्सो वी बिलीव इन बांग्ला बोले बालों का द वन नेट्स वन नेट्स जेटा होता है जेए जनन जे रामकृष्ण विवेकानंद जे प्रैक्टिस शर्बुधार मुशामन ना है अमने बोले ज्योतु मौत तत्त्व पौध तो ज्योतु मौत तत्त्व पौध के अनेक है तो भूल बैखा करें कि तो भूल बैखा ना सिर्फ रामकृष्ण जेटे दुखीने शरे अपने जनन निजे जीवने प्रैक्टिस करे एवं इस्लाम क्रिश्चियनिटी एवं हिंदू वितरे हिंदू देव वितरे जे विभिन्न भाग अच्छे सेट अच्छे जे बोशनो शक्तो विभिन्न धार में एवं शेखने से रामकृष्ण निजे एक प्रैक्टिस करे एवं आजकल उन्हें चिल्ड्रन जरा हम के जिक्र करे से से डू बिलीव इन गॉड हैज फॉर्म से डू बिलीव इन गॉड हैज you know, ten hands, four hands. Okay, mm -hmm. so form, even formless. It is new. Yeah, some of the Hindu dharma vitre. But we believe in both way. So we believe uh, God form us. Our formless, uh, nirakar. Jeta shakar and nirakar. Okay. Amra duuta the vishesh kori. So aaj e vishay gullo. जब पुत्तिक रा धौर मेर भी तो रे जहाँ तो मुस्लिम हो तो भावते पारे मुस्लिम जरा चिल्ड्रन आते हैं तार हो तो भावते पारे जे हिंदू धौर मो हो तो मुत्ति पूजा करे आम्रा मुत्ति विरुद्ध दे सो तार मने दे आर अगेंस्ट आस ताना अपने देखने जब विवेक नंद जब मन मुत्ति पूजा शब्द बोले चे जे मुत्ति प हेरे जाए चित्तो हरा मने ए जे अमरा जे पूजा कुर्ची जे सिंबलिक आई एम ट्राइ टू मने उधर के एक्सप्लेन को रचेस्टा कुर्ची जे व्हाई अमरा मुद्दे पूजा करी से मुद्दे पूजे शेष पद जाए ना एक टा पद जाए अमरा मुद्दे पूजा कुर्ची के तो तार पौरवती ते वी डू नॉट नीड एनी सिंबल तर अमरा जोखन भावती so what do you think? So you think, so Allah is listening. So what do you think? Allah kaan atse. Then you thinking, so that when I should not do bad thing because God is look after. Yes. That means you thinking, so that when God is choke atse, God amake dekse. Is it imagine? Imagine. Amra am imagine theke. Amra jokhon puja kurtsi, taka neta ka amate help kurtsi. Kintu amra mutti ke puja kurtsi. Na amra bolsi je mutti you are God. No. Amra age bishoy gulo jodi mane bepar gulo buje Muslim children atho onno children na jara buje onno dharma. Amra jodi shudu Hindu rao jodi Muslim dharma ke buje onno dharma buje. Thale amra monha je respect. I'm just going to say that one of the children will say, you know, we do, why is do namaste? You know, when Hindu people say, say namaste and other people say namaste. So why you do, one thing is so that when we say we welcome and another way we think so that when God is every, you know, his soul is potentially divine. And Amra Bhavi, Je Jeeva Pem Kora Jai Jan Shai Jan Shai Vise Ishwar, Je Shami Ji Kotha. ये जो पुत्ते केर जीवन भीतरे ईश्वर आते हैं, not only हिंदू भीतरे, हिंदू मुस्लिम और भीतरे। तो आम्रा जोखोन just we say नमस्कार, नमस्ते, तो means we respect you, so you not as human being, so because you are divine soul, and then so that when you say नमस्ते means you respect me, so that when 
I have divine soul within me. So right. I'm not like human being. So that way, that way, if you respect each other, yes, and then it should not be any fight. Absolutely. That on a children uh, is accepted because you know this country children they are always asking the logic. Logic. Why? Yes. They are asking the question why, you know, and how, when, you know, all this question they are asking. This is the very good. So that when they are asking the question, so amra jodi a protector dharma. के हम रजुदे जाना चाहिए इसका कोई बुजी जानी अभी बुजी जानी एवं पुष्यन जिग्गश करी एवं इंटरफेस हुई के एवं पुत्तिक का धौर में आज के जेटे अपने आयोजन करें संजय शॉप धौर में लोग लोसिलो एंड एंड 270 चिल्ड्रन के मोन बाय वन माने वो रा पुत्तिक धौर में के जिग्गश करें से एवं एवं थैंक यू आपने जो हम आमार टेबले अमित जुदू नहीं जाएंगे आपने राम लक्कुन शीता स्तोभी दिए थे न मुत्ती दिए थे न एवं दे आस्किंग मोर क्वेश्चन अबाउट इट यस एब्सोल्यूट सो ये जो बुझा जो परश पर परश परे सोधा बोध और जो रेस्पेक्ट इच आदर हमने जाना देन इट विल बी आई थिंक इज मोर इम्पोर्� about different religions within the community and also people living without the religion as well. And Interfaith is, is one way of doing it. And what else can you do to raise awareness more within the community amongst parents, mm. amongst other people as well, so that they can teach their children? Hang on, it is not, because some country if you go, say for Bangladesh where I come from, yes. mainly Muslims and Hindus, about 10% Hindus, about 85% Muslim, I'm just roughly I'm saying. There are Christians, but I never yes. ever met any Jewish person or Sikh I met, yes. And they are Buddhist. Uh, Buddhist. Buddhist. But I have never met any uh, Jewish person in no. Bangladesh. I have never met any Baha'i person mm. in Bangladesh. So for me, in this country, I have learned a lot and learned about other religions. So mm. our parents need to know, and I strongly feel, not only you know, parents, people in the community, so they can show their children, okay, there are people in the community, they have differences with us, but there are many similarities amongst mm -hmm. us as well, and we can live peacefully side by side in harmony. Mm -hmm. So how can we raise more awareness within the community? Education, yeah. I, I, I think, aside from what we're already discussing with um, interfaith, um, connected with that, of course, education exactly teaching people about other faiths about other peoples um, to be Jewish is slightly different to the other faiths because we are also an ethnic group yes so one can be Jewish and be a non-believer can be an atheist yes. or a, a Buddhist whatever but would still be Jewish yes um, what about festivals, Leon? What oh, about we, festivals and events? Oh, we have wonderful festivals. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, certainly from, an, um, say, from a Christian point of view, our festivals tend to spend hours and hours of prayer um, rather than just celebrating Christmas the way it's done. I mean, we recently had the Jewish New Year. Um, it starts, it's two days long, the Jewish New Year, start of a 10-day period of um, it's known as the Ten Days of Repentance, or the Days of Awe, right. A-W-E. And it culminates in the holiest day of the year, Yom Kippur, the Day yes. of Atonement. And unlike the, um, the secular New Year, it's um, a time where we do eat very sweet foods, honey cake and so on, symbolic of our hopes for a sweet New Year. But it's a time of repenting for our past ah. year's sins, and where we try and affirm that the coming year we will try better and we will be better people and so on. And the culmination of that it's is... a reflection, isn't it? It's a time of great self-reflection. Self -reflection. Yes, yeah. yes. And in fact, the morning services in an Orthodox synagogue on both days of the New Year are around four or five hours long. And then there's the afternoon and evening service. Um, and the second day, there's even a procession. People will often go to um, the river of a fast-flowing stream and again recite a certain prayer that may our sins flow away like water, that we should be forgiven. And we promise to try better and to raise up our level of behavior for the coming year. So it's very different to the idea of um, December the 31st and just going out and partying. 
Yes. <laughs> we'll talk more. Sorry. Um, I was about to come to you for this, but we have to go to a short break. No but problem. straight away, I'll come to you after the break. I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm that's here. fine. <laughs> <laughs> আমরা কথা বলছি ইন্টারফেথ উইক টু এই বিষয় নিয়ে আমাদের একটা ছোট্ট বিরতি যেতে হবে বিরতির পর আবার দেখা হচ্ছে আমাদের সাথেই থাকবেন আমাদের ব্রেক কত প্রিয় দর্শক বিরতির পর আবার এডুকেশন আবার আমরা কথা বলছি আমাদের আজকের টপিক ইন্টারফেথ উইক ব্রিটেনে এই দেশে এই সপ্তাহে কিন্তু ইন্টারফেথ উইক পালন করা হচ্ছে বিভিন্ন স্কুলে বাচ্চাদেরকে পড়ানো হচ্ছে অ্যাসেম্বলি হচ্ছে সেশন হচ্ছে কারণটা হচ্ছে ইন্টারফেথ যে বিভিন্ন ধরনের রিলিজিয়ন ধর্ম আছে এই ধর্মের মধ্যে একটা সমন্বয় যে সম্পর্ক যুগসূত্র স্থাপন করা এবং অনেক সময় অনেক লোক ধর্মতে বিশ্বাসও করে না যেমন হিউম্যানিস্ট আছে এথিয়েস্ট আছে এই স্কুলগুলোতে বিভিন্ন সেশন হচ্ছে একে অপরকে জানা এটা কোনো এটা আমাদের বিষয়টা এত ইম্পর্টেন্ট আমরা যদি একে অপরকে জানি আমরা শান্তিতে থাকতে পারব আমরা একে অপরের মধ্যে ভালো সম্পর্ক করে তুলতে পারবো তার জন্য এই টপিক নিয়ে কথা আমরা যারা প্যারেন্টস চিলড্রেন ওয়াচ করি আপনাদের কোনো প্রশ্ন কোনো মন্তব্য আপনার করতে পারেন তো আমার সাথে রয়েছেন তিনজন অতিথি অন মাই রাইট শুরিন তাহের জারে হু ইজ ফ্রম বাহাই কমিউনিটি ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক অ্যান্ড অন মাই লেফট লিয়ন সিলভা দ্য প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ ইস্ট লন্ডন সেন্ট্রাল সেনাগগ ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক লিয়ন অ্যান্ড ফাইনালি অন মাই ফার লেফট রামচন্দ্র শাহ ডাইরেক্টর অ্যান্ড ফাউন্ডার অফ বিবেকানন্দ হিউম্যান সেন্টার না উয়ে টকিং অ্যাবাউট ইন্টারফেথ উইক সোবিয়াসলি হ্যাভ বিন শেয়ারিং ফ্যান্টাস্টিক থিংস সামথিং আই এম গোয়িং রিড নাও অ্যান্ড অপরচুন দিস ইজ আর অপরচুনিটি টু ইউ ওয়াট strengthen good interfaith relations at all levels that's mm. some kind of aims the mention interfaith uh, website increase awareness of the different and distinct faith communities in the uk in particular celebrating and building on the contribution which their members make to their neighborhoods and to wider society mm. increase understanding between people of religious and non-religious beliefs so these are great messages Now, I already asked this question to Leon, mm -hmm. but Shirin, if I come to you, what else can you do to raise more awareness? We want to show our community, yes, we know more about each other. Yeah. What else can you do to raise awareness It's, more I think and more? What, you know, what, one of the things when you're asking this question that comes to mind is each one of us asking ourselves, how can I have an open mind and an open heart? Excellent. Because in order for me to learn about somebody else, somebody's belief or the way of life, I have to have an open heart. Absolutely. And if I stick, and, and that requires humility. That requires me to be humble and to listen. And so I think that's the first step is each one of us If we recognize that, as you, know, you were sharing earlier, we are all divine beings um, and we come from the same source, then we have a lot to learn from one another. And one of the ways I, th I really believe, two ways, I think, rather, two ways I think that we can learn from one another. One is through, through prayer and worship. And I know that people of all faiths and none will pray or meditate in different ways. But I found in my own experience, when a group of neighbors come together and they pray, they share their prayers and they pray towards a common goal, the bonds of friendship are so much stronger than yes. before. Yes. So to come together in our neighborhoods, yes. in our communities, even in our workplaces and yes. say, let us pray for, where, you know, there are so many problems in the world we can pray yes. for. This is one way. Another thing that brings people together is when we do something in service together. Right. So when we step outside of our, our own selves and our own needs and we think, how can I serve my neighborhood? How can I serve my community? We are not thinking about only ourselves, we're thinking of the greater good. And again, it, in my experience as a member of the Baha'i community, we've seen that when, starting from a young age, when children, when young people, They gather together in their neighborhoods, they look at the reality of their neighborhoods and they see what are the problems, what are the challenges, and together come up with solutions at a local level. These bonds of friendship are, are very true. You know, so even in Tower Hamlets we have um, groups of youth or young people between the ages of 11 and 15 who will come together and they will, um, they will look up at their neighborhood and see what are the challenges, the challenges of loneliness, yes. the challenges of bullying in schools, yes. of health concerns. And together these young people who are of all faiths and none will be able to come up with a solution and together they implement it. There we start seeing real change. Then it's, no, it's not about 
our differences. It's not about how each person is, um, is one is better than the other. But again, it's we're having a common goal. Absolutely. So I, I would encourage. I think as parents um, that we try ourselves to have an open mind and an open heart Excellent. to encourage our children to participate in these wonderful activities that are there um, to, to further our communities. Thank you very much. Well said. Open mind. Thank you. On that note, can I take a call? You are live on Area 10 Bangla, UK. Hello. 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 Please. Do Hello. You have a My name is Yusuf Islam. Sorry? My name is Yusuf Islam. Yusuf Islam. Yusuf Islam, how are you today? I'm okay. Okay. What have you learned about Interfaith Week? Um, I've learned a lot of new things. Yes. Um, um, I've learned a lot of new things about different religions. Okay. So, uh, can you name a few religions today or what did you do? What did you look at? Sorry? What did you look at today? Did you look at... Uh, any Learning. particular religious books? What did you learn today? Learned to um, we learned a lot of stuff, like. Um, did you have many we guests? We learned about different religions. Okay, good, good. So, are you happy that you are learning about different religions? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much for your phone call. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. One of the students who called and talked about who is learning about different religions. This is very good to know very, because very we always because say in RE, is, religious yeah. education in this country, we need to learn about. Thank you very much. Really appreciate and really appreciate, you know, uh, it, that you mentioned about you have been learning and you learned today in your school about different religions. Well done. Thank you very much. Uh, you mentioned about open mind. And we have a few slides we'll show on the screen. Uh, we'll take one more call and then we'll go and look at the slide. Salam alaikum, Doshak, Porichi, the Kanaman, the Bukhana Prosno. You're live on ARAT in Bangla, UK. Hello. Salam alaikum. What's Salam? Jiba, I'm here to be the lady who's open for C. G, I'm the Foka. Sundarjin is like education and interfaith, nice thing. G. So you have not a decade, you know, for long. Thank you. I'm also a good one. I'm a good one. I'm a good one. I'm a good one. I'm a good one. You know, interfaith will be in the religion or the other way, which is some sort of genius. Each other communication and exchange and integration of blood in some sort of genius. Yes, exchange and yes. Some religious or monotheism. Which religions are they belong to in the States? Today. Yeah, yeah. Or today. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to phone back to the camera. Would you like to ask any more questions? Can you get any more? Okay, interfaith. Okay, I will ask my guests to answer this. I mean, thank you very much. One of the guests who asked, you can say in Bengali, maybe it will be good, uh, who mentioned about he's watching just program now and he found out very interesting about religion. So, what are those religions that he thought probably particular religions and what is interfaith with them? Can you please highlight that? There is no particular religion that uh, uh, Leon's explains mm -hmm. the interfaith or multi-faith uh, So all the faith community yes. and the uh, all sharing uh, knowledge, idea, yeah, with each uh, other. Um, respect each other religion and know about other religion. So main thing is tolerance, you know. So if we have no first thing is tolerance and then so like according to Hinduism, so that when we are talking about uh, tolerance and then acceptance. Yes. So that when first thing, if I do not tolerate, then how I can accept it? Accept it. So accept. do you know uh, this year we celebrated Mahatma Gandhi 150 uh, birthday, birthday celebration, yes. and Mahatma Gandhi's message was uh, tolerance and uh, non-violence. Yes. So that when Mahatma Gandhi kuno ek jagat bolte chen, je jokhon intolerance, mm -hmm. so that is kind of crime as well. So that when I do not tolerate you, so that when so that thing is sort of crime. Crime. That is a kind of crime. So that pain, whatever your opinion, what is your religion, what is your habit? Yes. So whatever you do, first thing we have to tolerate. Yes. Then we have to say this is your opinion. So that is not I can't bring the conclusion. Ramakrishna said, yes. you know, like Mutu or Buddhi. So I'm right and you're wrong. So 
don't bring calculation who is who right, is right and, and who is and wrong. Who is wrong. You can because give your opinion. It, because you can give your opinion mm. about and you can yes. think about, learn about it. Mm. Because if you, without learning, so that way, just you bring the calculation, uh, I'm the right, he's the wrong, I'm the best, he's the not best. Thank so that means bring the conclusion, try to know each other, Thank try you. to respect each other. That's very good. So, Doshak, it is a very religious, the act of particular religion, number of Kotaochi, Amanda Bacha, the student that Kajana, parent that Kajana about other people. So, Amra take a society the Bashkori, Shuturak, Amra to Shanti Taktahobe, Eko Borke Janle, Tun Balahobe, and Juni interfaith, we can eat Amra importance the Chiaki. So, we have a few slides to uh, just to show to our parents and children, maybe you can do at home, you can do in school, some kind of artwork, some kind of learning. So, can I go through some slides, please? This week, it is Interfaith Week all over the country. Muslims, Christians, Buddhists, Sikhs, Jewish people and Hindus will be selling, well, we mentioned few faiths. We believe in respect for all. So I can go to the next slide. I haven't read everything, but this is very good. And this is this person, this boy is six years old and who just painted a mug, as you can see. And he says, designing well. And he has got some symbols. My world. This is very nice and colorful. Can I go to the next one, please? Oh, all the lovely hands together, as you can see. My sculpture has three hands together. It is the faith in the future. People who are different, I think something I can read from here, the world and live together, we can all help people and respect each other. Very so good this is message. Very good yeah. message, yes, that's yeah. right. And this is like a satin kind of cushion, you know, as you can see like the message lovely, coming yeah. through. I choose the saying, develop love, yeah, skater love, yeah, no religion mm. is higher than, than that. Another. Mm. Yeah, so very this, good. these yeah. are great yeah. messages, age five, seven, yeah, same, what is this, May, he made a picture, she made a picture, it's about pretty, you know, as you can see, well, ooh, this is very nice, can I talk just for a few seconds, look at some of the symbols actually, and coming from mm. the flame, this is very nice. And I believe that we can share one world. Even if we are all different, we need to talk to each other about the differences. So these are, and we can achieve peace, probably something. So this is, these are great. Very, very yes. good. And this child yes. is 13 yeah. years old. I mean, something very nice about, I mean, obviously, uh, after there are parents, you are watching the program, you can read that, what they said, and you can do with your children, talk about that mm -hmm. as well. We are trying to promote, oh, Fantastic, isn't it? Peace, Peace. seems to be a common theme. Common that theme. <laughs> and spell yes. made the sunset picture of mm. gold and red foil. Yes, with some uh, bit of tissue. Actually, I cut it. She said she what she did. Peace spell. And this is what I think the world needs. Mm. Great <laughs> message. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, these are wow. and some of the lovely artwork. Definitely. You know, we can really, mm. God, you mm. made us all different and all human. Please guide us in our lives in the way of peace. Help us to be peaceful makers, okay? Peacemakers, show us how to live in harmony. Save us from conflict and violent arguments. Guide us as we try to build a better world. Mm. Yeah, this mm. is very this powerful. This very powerful is kind of like, uh, you know, when I'm talking to children today, yeah. I realize so that when uh, it's uh, class two to class six children, and what is the depth they are asking? You know, they're asking me, uh, I pray five times. How many times do you pray? You know, I do this way. So what do you, like, they know so many things. Even so they said they went to temple, and then some people use the language, I went to mundir, mm. you know? So, and different ways. So I have seen the depth. So that is the message I have seen from, I think maybe this is your contribution. Although I am the member, and Leon is member of the Secretary of Tower Hamlet. So we, we. I mean, all we, of us, we, we are we, sort of. We, we, we are kind of things. So if we can see, so that we in all the, not only Tower Hamlet or any borough, Particularly, so all the, and the children, yeah. if they can learn uh, religious mm. studies, 
they know each other. So that means that way, so that means it will Absolutely. be, you know, because we Absolutely. are talking about the we are living now yeah. global village. Yeah. So that means internet and Facebook and all those okay. things. So we yeah. can share our idea mm -hmm. through all those things. We have just five things. minutes to go, but any, any, more, any more pictures or images, just very quickly we can finish up within a minute and then we can go to the conclusion. Extra examples to follow. Okay, you can see a couple of them very quickly. Wow, beautiful. Oh. So it's like artwork with symbols of religion. It can be many symbols. Oh. It's very good for the children or young people to learn about. Look at the hands. Wow. Mm. Very, very good. And can I come to the next one, please, very quickly? Wow. Look at that. Love. Beautiful. With all these beautiful symbols coming up. And, and different colors. Yes, you different know? colors. So yes. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we want to see more religions to be added on. Yes. That's very good. Knowledge. Yes. Explode <laughs> with the knowledge. Yeah. Look at the hands. Hands and, you know, the message actually. Of the unity. Words. Again, of yes. so unity. Yes, unity. Yeah. Uh, love. I think peace. This is coming from their heart. Can I go to the next one? Yeah. Any more? Couple? Wow. Look at this. Flower. Beautiful, mm. smiley flower. Mm. Look at many hands. Many hands. Very good. Wow. Mm. Great. They're really reflecting this principle yes. of unity and oneness. So, absolutely. The oneness of oneness. the religion. Absolutely. But we do have the oneness. I mean, yeah. thank, you, I, I, I thank, you, thank you very much. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I would like to take probably first to begin with your last comment. So I okay. think so that means this about interface. you can see from children yeah. um, artwork and yeah. so when they're talking to us and all those things. So that means they are more open-minded to learn about other religions. So yes. that means they understand so that means Ipuan, peace, harmony, and then we have to respect each other, we have to know each other. So that means without knowing each other, and so many conflicts, so many misunderstanding in our society. Misunderstanding and, and this conflict, misunderstanding absolutely. because of the lack of we knowledge. Minimize, we can minimize, and lack of it? knowledge. So that means I think is all children. So that means you know children. So from the beginning, if they learn to respect other religion people, they learn to learn to from other people. So that means this open-minded, as you said. So that means mm. open heart and open-minded. So is that is the more important for the. And this interfaith week, so that when we can learn, so that when who are watching this program, so that when maybe they will learn and they will practice in their. Thank you life. very much, Ramda. If I come to Shreen, mm -hmm. right? Those students, children, parents, and whoever watching the program tonight, mm. what would be your message about interfaith? And what do you discuss about this? You know, one of the things that comes to mind is a quotation from the Baha'i writings, <coughs> yes. where Baha'u'llah, the founder, says, "Regard man." as a mine, rich in gems of inestimable value. So if we imagine each person is like this mine where you go digging and you have these beautiful gems. He says education can alone cause it to unravel these treasures and enable humanity to benefit. So really I think it, it's wonderful what's happening in our schools that children are being exposed and are learning about different faiths because there we see through all these beautiful images that children they, themselves innately they can they believe in this concept of the oneness they're, they're showing it in their artwork and as parents I think the message for parents is to encourage our children to learn and to investigate about different faiths to um, to encourage them to read and to to participate in different activities recognizing that it's the more we know and the more we do with others the more we can, as a, as a collective, solve the many challenges that we face as a humanity. Great, great. Leon, just I would like to ask you finally, those parents, children, whoever watching our program, what would be your message for the future? Yeah. The thing that comes over most looking at the images and so on and in the discussion are two things. One is peace, above all. Mm. Without peace, it's like health. Without it, there's nothing in, in a way. Uh, without peace, certain. I mean, with health, one can manage depending on the individual, but without peace, it's, it's awful. Um, the other thing which everybody has said is about a person being more than just a body, that there is something spiritual within us. And in Judaism, we are taught not just Jewish people, the, every human being is created in the image of God. Mm -hmm. And since we don't believe God has a physical form, that refers to our spirit. Mm -hmm. We have something inside us. Everybody has a divine spark. And with interfaith, with learning to love each other, to respect each other, 
we can create a world where our individual divine sparks Absolutely. can be become a flame and light, uh, really light up the world. Thank and you. that is the aim. Thank you very much, Leon. Thank you, Shirin Tahir Zaidia, uh, uh, from Baha'i Community. Fantastic, and it's a great you. privilege to have it's you on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Leon Silva, President, East London uh, Central Synagogue, East London. Yeah. Yes, yes uh, right. thank you very much. Di My sorry, you are the president. Thank you. And thank you very much for your time and your input, great input. And thank you, Ramda, Ram Chandra Shah, Director of Vivekananda Human Center. Priya Darshak, I'm going to talk about the interfaith with one of the issues. We want a relationship between all the religions so we can minimize our differences. A Pratta Shamra Vidayanichi, Bhala Thakben, Shundar Thakben, Assalamu Alaikum, Shubharatri.